Yo, yo, yo. Thanks for tuning in to the 44th episode of J Talks Crypto. And in this episode, I'm going to try to do a Raspberry Pi 4 setup video for the Gecko Science Compact F. There's no guys out there yet. And um, yeah, I just wanted to try to put one together. This is not really like a setup channel or a how-to channel but a lot of people are asking questions and um yeah so first things first i personally wouldn't recommend uh trying to set this up on windows i tried and i failed um i tried compiling it it's uh it was kind of like annoying it took forever and it didn't work at the end um i just got like i'm pretty sure if i kept messing with it i would have been able to get it but it just, uh, it w- I felt like it was more, it was, um, it was too complicated. <laughs> I was just kind of like, yo, this is uh, annoying. I'm not going to do it. Uh, I have a Raspberry Pi. And then just in general, in my opinion, with this kind of stuff, like this is generally, like this is open source software. Uh, you want to run open source software with open source software. You know, it's a, like in my head, it's a seeming contradiction to try to run CG Miner, uh, open, so- soft- uh, open source por- program, on Windows, which is a closed source system, and um, you know, Bitcoin itself is uh, is open source, free free and open source. Um, so yeah, it's just uh, I also tried uh, like I used to like when I first started uh, mining, I tried running my new packs on my Windows, and um, I would always get like stability issues. Every once in a while, CG Miner would just crash, or CG Miner would uh, just it would like keep running, but then like the command line window would disappear, so I wouldn't be able to like verify the hash rate myself or anything like that. So I eventually just got a Raspberry Pi, and then after I got it on the Raspberry Pi, it was always smooth, uh, no issues whatsoever. Um, so I'm gonna be doing a uh, quick overview on how to compile it. It's really really simple. Uh, the very 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 first thing that you need to do is uh, just go to Google, type in Raspberry Pi Imager. And um, if you have a Windows, a Mac, or something like that, I'm not going to show you guys how to uh, flash your SD card. Like, just flash it with um, the, the latest uh, Raspberry Pi OS. Um, you just, I always just pick the operating system Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit. I select my SD card. Sometimes you're going to have to use SD card formatter to erase anything that's on there. And then uh, you just wait a little while, and then it should write everything to the SD card. After that... You take that SD card and you plop it in to your Raspberry Pi 4. And then that's when the magic begins, I guess. All right. All right. So here's my Raspberry Pi. And um, I'm going to, I just uh, installed uh, the newest version of the Raspberry Pi desktop onto here. And, um, yeah, like, uh, it's pretty much, you're probably going to have to hook it up into your HDMI or whatever. And the first thing that you need to do is connect the Wi-Fi. So it's asking me to set my wireless LAN country. Just going to go down to Yugoslavia. I'm literally, literally doing this fresh as if uh, I was like one of y'all with a completely fresh install. Click on OK. I'm not going to make a guide on how to build up your Raspberry Pi because technically you can just pop in the SD card and plug in the HDMI in a solid power source and you're good. Um, So I just typed in my uh, Wi-Fi password and should be connecting. Seems like that's solid. The next thing to do is to open the browser. Open the browser and get the instructions for the download. So uh, all I do is uh, go to Bitcoin Talk and to the hardware forum. This 
doesn't even matter. Spelled it wrong, but Duck Duck Go got us. So pretty much the instructions last time I checked were on page four by Kano and pretty much you follow these instructions and that's it. My own little modification of it is that towards the end instead of make uh, you do sudo make install but yeah so you copy this open up terminal click on paste press enter and this takes a little bit and some of the other ones take a little bit as well. Uh, these steps should work on a Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, this is the 3B Plus uh, Model A. And then it, I believe it should work also on the, um, the new Raspberry Pi 2 wireless. I have a couple, but I haven't been able to test it yet. Because a bunch of you guys... I was going to make that video and do it for the Raspberry Pi 2 wireless, but I know a bunch of people probably just really wanted to see it on a Raspberry Pi 3 or 4. Um, but yeah, just pasted this in here. Yeah. Press enter. Some of these take a while. But yeah, it's um yeah, I guess this one actually went pretty fast. Next thing is this little group right here. And sometimes if you're running these in groups. Uh, you might run into an issue so if that happens just run each line completely on its own so you'd run cd and then git clone and then cd cg minor and then the c flags command but let's see if it works just by pasting it sorry for the ghetto quality guys i'm not trying to do no screen recorded like uh, i was like tr doing some shit and i was just like if i fucking do this this video is never going to come out um I was going to do the whole flashing and everything like that, but I'm just kind of like, yo, it's not really my style. Um, so the CD, CG minor, C, so right now we're in the new directory, C, CG minor, so that's good. I didn't have to CD back into it, so I should be able to post the next command. All right, so I pressed enter and it's taking a bit. I think this is the one that takes the longest, if I recall correctly. But after a little while, depending on which device you have, like you see how it starts to come up now. Uh, I think on a Raspberry Pi 3B or probably the two wireless, whatever, this one uh, runs significantly slower. Uh, Cause I did try compiling it on uh, other ones and I ran into like, like issues. It was weird cause it's inconsistent. Cause on the original pa Raspberry Pi, wireless i was able to pop in this sd card and get it to run but i was never able to compile it so i don't know but generally speaking afterwards i can then take this sd card pop it into a uh, 3b plus and it should run uh, exactly the same All right, so over here is when uh, you would do a sudo make install. The instructions say uh, make, but 
I don't know, for some reason that never really worked for me where I was able to run it. So I just do this. This is a little trick I learned. Seems like we are good. This should be installed. I'm going to type CD and now I can try the command to see if it was successfully compiled. I go up. Cool. So I take this, copy it. And you see how like I'm not highlighting the dot slash thing? So pretty much all you need to do is type in sudo space and then paste this thing without the dot and the slash. And then uh, press enter. And it seems like it is working. Here we go. So as a bonus, this actually does work with the block eruptor and it should also work with the ant miner U2. Any gecko science stick. This one is the uh, OG Compact F. And then the um, I was having issues with the uh, Compact F because these take too much power. So in that case, you uh, pretty much need your own hub to uh, be able to run those. So yeah, that is pretty much how you set up the uh, Gecko Science Compact F. The only thing that I can probably add to this is um, you see this portion right here? You change this URL if you want to use a pool that's not Kano's. And then this over here is the username. You change that to your username. So if you're using slush pool, uh, it would be like random miner dot worker. Um, and then dot work, like anything that appears after the period is what you would see in your interface on like slush pool or, or something like that. Um, and then yeah, it's a uh, it's pretty much good to go. And if you're gonna use another pool, I don't know if you need to do the suggested difficulty portion. Um, I guess the last thing that I guess I should go over is how to actually overclock it, and a couple of updates with um, CG Miner. I'm not doing anything crazy here, guys. I'm just like regurgitating whatever's on the Bitcoin talk forums. All right. So um, there are a couple of commands that like sometimes like uh, they start off to like cash off really slowly. So you need to add a couple of commands to um, get it to run properly. And uh, this is kind of like what it would look like.
so over here is like you have the, the pool this is the uh, username uh, the worker this is the difficulty uh, this command gecko dash dash gecko serial that allows you to essentially isolate which um, stick you want and you can only one run frequency per like instance of serials so you can't run like one seat one version of CG minor where it has a couple of sticks at 300 and another couple of sticks at 500 um, so what you need to do is just like you open CG minor click on new tab and then this is where you would paste the different command for the different frequency um, so it's like let's say these for example you wanted to run at uh, 350 and then you have another that run better another couple of sticks that run better at 500 and stuff like that so you know you would just run them in in uh, in separate instances based off which ones prefer perform better at which frequency and then these little commands over here they do something to like one start the miners at a higher frequency or um, kind of like report different kind of stats stats and then also kind of like <clears throat> to double check so it's like if it's under hashing like I think the Ge gecko tune 260 will um, tell it to check every 60 minutes or something like that uh, just go through the thread uh, there's a lot of stuff that's like out here that will uh, help your compact F run better and I hope this video helped because uh, this was my first set of video thanks or no actually it wasn't I didn't I did want another ghetto one for the Apollo BTC so this is my second one so here we are anyway this video is getting kind of long um, this is JTOX crypto if you guys uh, uh, please uh, like comment and subscribe you guys know I hate fucking asking pero this is JTOX crypto and I'm signing off